Okay, so, so this is the anti-karma prayer. Please do not watch this video if you're sensitive or easily upset. Uh, or uh, do, do not watch this video. Uh, yeah, probably best if you're in any way sensitive not to watch this video. Thank you. Okay, so the anti-karma prayer uh, now for those who are brave. Um, basically, okay, so you can assume and um, you can assume that if something is happening to you, you can reverse it and, and assume usually nine times out of ten that you've done something similar to other people either in this lifetime or in past lifetimes. So, uh, let's say that I go to a spiritual group and someone steals my hat and scarf in a spiritual group. I, I, so how would you assume what to do in the anti-karma prayer? Well, I, and, and I go, well, I can't remember stealing anyone's hat and scarf. And this has actually happened to me several times in spiritual groups. My hats and scarves have gone missing. This is true. So the anti-karma is that probably in a past lifetime I have been a thief in holy places. <laughs> holy places? In spiritual, probably in the mosque, the local mosque, the synagogue, you know, the, 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 Sikh, the Sikh churches, you know, I'd go in, they'd all go off to prayer, I'd sneak around mm -hmm. and steal their their hats and scarves and whatever the they donation box. <laughs> <Those> donation <laughs> box. And in this in this lifetime, this is true. This is this is uh, it's <laughs> <a> donation box. <laughs> this is donation box. You might not want to do it after explaining what will happen to you in the next lifetime. Uh, so so the anti karma prayer then is I assume that I've done something similar in some similar way to others in this lifetime or past lifetimes. So I pray for forgiveness. It might not be the exact same thing but similar. So I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who has stolen from others in this lifetime and past lifetimes. Because this thing is happening over and over again. So I do, I do the anti-karma prayer until it stops. Or let's say I go into romantic relationships. And every time I go into a, a romantic relationship, within three months the girl dumps me and is out with another guy. And I get another girlfriend and then three months later she's off with another guy. And it's like, well, why, why, are, why are women dumping me after three months? And I'm, this is happening over and over and over again. Why don't they stay faithful? You know, I can assume that I do the anti-karma prayer. I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who was unfaithful to women in this lifetime and past lifetimes. And I'd keep saying that prayer over and over again until that stops happening to me. Or... You know, if someone, uh, or let's say I get bullied, like, you know, I actually, I was, I was a kid once, and uh, about 10, 10 years old, and I walked down, there's this kind of, there's a road, and there's this narrow pathway down to the park kind of thing, and I was walking down, I was probably about this high, and these like, I don't know, 18 or 19 year old women, three or four of them, they, they're quite big, I was quite small, you see, they're quite quite big women. Well, when you're that short, I mean, 18 is quite big, you see. Now I'm probably quite big. But anyway, and they stopped me. I was walking down, they stopped me, and they said, like, jump up and down, have you got any change on you? So I had to sort of jump up and down, and I had to give them all my change. And, uh, and that was one of the things that happened. It only happened to me once, so it wasn't a re repeating thing, so it probably wasn't that bad. But if that happened to me regularly, like people would like stop me and take my money off me, then I could probably assume with the anti-karma prayer, I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's robbed, robbed, mugged people. I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's mugged people in this lifetime, past lifetimes, you see. And then you do it, you know, I'd probably do it like 20 times a day until, until that pattern, I feel it's cleared or, or whatever. So that's a very quick, a quick five minute explanation. Just, you just intuit, reverse, what ha keeps happening to you. As soon as your dialogue goes, that was unfair, how could you do that to me? Then see what they've done to you, and then do the anti-karma prayers if you've done that to others, you see. Which is basically, I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's done that to others, mm. as opposed to, you bad person, you're unfair. And for me, it's, um, I'll quickly, yeah. It's a bit like, uh, people have heard of Ho'oponopono, uh, it's like taking 100% responsibility for whatever shows up in your life and you're clearing the data. 
So no, it's like, or in the big book of AA, they say nothing in God's world happens by accident. There are no accidents. So even though your ego sees it from this lifetime, that, that, that you know, that's unfair that you, that, uh, you know, you treated me unfairly, but uh, that wasn't by accident. Probably in some lifetime I've treated people unfairly, you see. So it's, it's, I think it's quite simple.